Hey everyone, so you had a great steak the other night. Then you got some leftovers. What are you going to do with them? Well, this is based on an old recipe that my ex, Christina, and her mom used to make. They would take usually kind of flank steak or something, and frankly, if you've got one tiny bowl, and you've got a frying pan, and a couple, like literally two ingredients, you can knock out something delicious. What they would do is they would add soy sauce and essentially cornstarch just to get the soy sauce kind of going and kind of a little bit clingy. Dredge the meat, throw it in a hot pan, just a couple seconds aside, and you're there. Now, cornstarch obviously works really well for this purpose, but it's pretty carby. Something Tara and I keep around, something Tara and I keep around is powdered egg compound. We use it in a variety of sort of, well, food experiments, usually of the breakfast variety, except we don't really eat breakfast anymore. And the other day, I gave this a try, and frankly, it's not a bad binder. This will work better than you might think, and then, once you get yourself a little bit of a soy sort of powder compound, it's a quick, quick turnover in the pan. All right, so here you go. This is, this is really all the mise en place you need. You've got your steak that you either broke down after you were done sous vide in it, or maybe you just bought it right from the store. You can do this with cold steak. It doesn't have to be pre-cooked. This is your soy sauce sort of dredge. Again, we're using powdered eggs instead of cornstarch as a binder. And you want it, you know, you want it a little runny. You want it so that it wouldn't be able to be spooned up with a fork. You would need a spoon or something. You don't want a ton of it to stick to the meat. It's going to get on there. No worries. Your pan is getting a little warm. If you care to, a little, a little drizzle of oil will work. Not necessary. This this will work in a dry pan as well. And it's as simple as this. It's just a, it's actually kind of a fun thing to be doing while people are coming over, they need the first bites, you're making cocktails over there, and people are looking through the little, you know, countertop and sitting and bullshitting with you. All you need to do is kind of, you know, dredge around a little bit and just lay it flat in the pan, as flat as you can make it. Get the next one. And they don't stay in there more than a few seconds per side. You'll see they'll start to when they're when they're you know really undercooked here, they're really floppy and raw. They'll get a little more structure and a little more character and strength once they start to warm up and crisp. Once you've got enough, and a small pan is nice because you don't have to work with too much. Once you've got these really starting to go, this first one is kind of ready for a flip. And your next one, see how that's coming together. This one was a little bit of a thicker cut, so it's going to take a little while longer. In fact, we'll even push that one to the middle. These top ones, they're definitely done. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. Excellent. Oh my god. So perfect. That's what we want to see. How's this one doing? We're basically there with that as well. Yeah. So now keep these going for a little touch longer and work on the top part of the pan again. And you, you, you got to trust me when I say you start getting a bowl full of these ready to go, people will keep coming up to you and trying to snag them right out of the bowl as you're making them. You can turn these over really fast and they are just an incredible, and they make the whole house smell great. They are they are just a flavor explosion. But just about anything else you could do with meat like this, you would take a little while. If you were making an omelet, well, you gotta make a whole omelet. If you're gonna put it in a sandwich, all right, you gotta take out a bunch of pieces, have a bunch of carbs and bullshit. But cornstarch, a little bit of binder, and you, are set with meat by itself. Oh, I forgot about that little piece in there. No way, you get eaten too. I wish, I wish y'all could smell this right now. This is pretty outrageously freaking good. Oh my 
God, yes. Mm-hmm. Perfect. I literally have a uh, tool meeting of the management and the board in a couple minutes from now. And I'm going to be able to actually have proper dinner in front of me and be happy while I'm on that phone call. All right, everybody. Try it if you want. Add uh, soy sauce, add a little starchy bit, or egg wash to slices of meat. Throw that shit in a pan. All right. Have fun. Hey, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. We got our prize box of Pelican, uh, you know, case of goodness here. And as you may be aware at this point, what we do at the end of videos now, because, uh, you know, I'm not good at this YouTube thing. I'm not a pro. I don't have a Patreon or anything like that. This is not my revenue stream. I, I don't know what I'm doing or why you watch. But I'd like to reward the fact that you watch. Uh, let's do something dangerous or, you know, slightly dangerous this week. Made by, uh, you know... Sog. Is Sog even still around anymore? I'm not sure. I swear, officer, it's just a key. Definitely uh, nothing uh, sinister here. What could it be? Oh, of course, it's a little blade. Look at that. And you know what's actually cute? One thing that does impress me, it is in fact a lockback. It's, it's a locking blade in this tiny, tiny form factor. You have a little detent here. So if you would like to, you know, have this, I am going to give it away to somebody. As we do each week, you know, we pick a, a food or a drink that I happen to like, and if you leave a comment with that word in the comments, well, I will choose one of you, or this, uh, you know, internet uh, randomizer uh, scripty thing will choose one of you. So, ooh, just recently, my wife and I made sugar-free effing cheesecake, and it's goddamn marvelous because she is a genius. So I'm not going to make you type all that. The word is cheesecake. Uh, if you leave a comment, you can leave a comment about other things, fun things, if you want to say real things, some substance and, and style and, you know, important, uh, you know, matters of, in, of important discussion, that's fine. But if you include the word cheesecake, you'll be entered into the random uh, what's it, and one of you will get chosen, and I will reach out to that one of you and say, hey, uh, give me a mailing address so I can throw this in an envelope and hopefully put enough stamps on it, because it, you know, it's got some weight to it. But it's okay. I don't need it anymore. Forget where I got it. It's going to leave... I'm going to send it to somebody else. Hopefully it's you. Stay safe out there.